as you may already know um, there have been videos that have come out um, which stemmed from the fact that a lot of people on social media were wondering how come the national science and math quiz um, woman the one who asks who is um, always asking these finalists the questions and they're wondering why she's still young she's still vibely she's still um, looking pretty and beautiful and um many have brought um several reasons to the fact that um she refuses to grow because um there are some elements um in her food there are some places she goes to and um there's a secret recipe she has um which according to them um it's uh it's part of the reasons why instead of aging she's rather growing younger there there has also been um some truth in what they said with the fact that um at least if she's not even growing older she's supposed to look the same way but um it looks like as the years go ahead she's rather um decreasing in age um when you look at her appearance her countenance the way she works she doesn't move like an old lady even her strength <clears throat> yeah there are times where people see her even jumping over um stuff um, um there was one time where um behind the scenes um there was something that spilled on the ground and she quickly jumped over it and um those who saw it were amazed that um, she had that much strength to even jump and she was even in um uh, some shoes which um had some um pretty um high stockings so um they were shocked that she was able to jump and um, not even fall and still have a balance now um we are making this video to let those of you who um, are following the the jokes on social media to understand that um as much as it's entertaining there are some true reasons behind her beauty and her and her youthfulness and so you could take from this um these points and then um, apply it to yourself um, you may have also listened to one entertaining video which we did um we, which we did put out um explaining um that miss elsie kaufman refuses to grow okay so now let's go straight into it um, what most people don't know is that this lady has a strict plan and a routine which she follows daily and um, this is part of the reasons why um, she is the way she is right now now it came to our attention that about five years ago she um, she stuck to a certain plan which has been um, going on with every day or at least almost every day and um this plan has been uh, contributing to her energetic um, moves her beauty her countenance and even her whole general being now one of those things in this um, in, in this her plan is exercise many of you may not know but miss kaufman elsie kaufman dr elsie kaufman is a lady who's serious about her exercises um, for those who know her and those who are close to her they may disclose to you that um, even when she wakes up early in the morning she goes on some um, sprints sometimes she would do some squats some um, planks some plates um, some setups and all of these um, um, exercises that are um, are done by many and she has been doing it over such a time that now it's not a problem to her anymore um these exercises have made her bones um to be less you know rigorous like those of old women would be but has given her this <coughs> fluidity and mobility um that is like that of um, a teenage girl so if you are interested in um being like miss elsie kaufman please do what to include exercises in your daily plans um she doesn't lift weights however 
but um, she does um, those ones that help her to trim the tummy and then also to um, keep her nerves and her muscles you know um, vibrant and functioning you know there are some um, exercises you do that uh, prevent your muscles from becoming too worn out and um, too um, you know shriveled out so these exercises are, um, are part of um, her, her beautiful um, countenance and her energetic lifestyle another thing which would interest you to note is that she has a very serious diet when we say diet we don't mean she's on a diet but we mean to say she she's she's um strict with the types of food she eats and the types of food she does not eat most times when people hear of diet you know um, it refers to you know um, reducing the amount of food um, a person will take but um when we say diet here we are referring to her deciding to eat only certain foods and um abstain from other foods <coughs> now because of this her body receives such nutrients from the foods which she has chosen to eat for the rest of her life and these nutrients um, have been proven in the laboratory and even by many doctors to be very um good for the whole um, being for mental thinking as well as for even um, um, certain um, stressful situations and they help um, people who take these types of foods to be able to control some perks and um, some um, incidents that occur around them even with anxiety they are able to deal with it well so you could do your research about those foods and then um when you do your research about those foods do well to um, try them out for at least just a month or two um take a picture of how you look now also you can um check your weight and record it and then after a month or two come back check your weight and take a new picture and see if you've seen any difference then you will know that truly um, um these are the things she does that help her also from uh help her to you know um, look as good as uh, many of you want to be so know that one one thing um, people don't understand is we eat anything anyhow because we are always on the go we are always in a hurry we are always trying to meet the deadline we are always trying to satisfy the boss we are always trying to be quick about something otherwise you might lose out on an opportunity now whilst our need to be fast in this world um, is understood because of um, the fact that we don't put too much emphasis on what we eat we avail ourselves to eat any types of foods that are available to us as long as they smell nice now for those of you who are into nutrition you know that as you grow you have to stop eating food because they smell and taste nice but because they actually are good for you so the average human being the average Ghanaian is fed from day to night by the roadside or, or in a cafeteria by some restaurant you, you get what we say many people don't even eat food prepared at home many people don't see the reason to even eat food prepared at home and madame elsie kaufman is not one who delights in such she does take one or two you know hangouts sometimes when they go out um, you know she and the family go out to you know um, release some stress and you know just take a drink and stuff but not it's not a a, 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 a normal thing to do like always for her it's not something that she makes to reoccur all the time like people there are people who eat outside every single day we are not saying that it's a bad thing we are not saying that it's wrong but um you should know that these um traders or sellers it's not all of them who have um these hygienic standards in their mind number one and it's not all of them um, that are trustworthy people are just interested in making money and whatever um, comes into their mind um to do 
regardless of how it affects the customer they'll do it to get their money so um this is um one of the things um you have to watch out for your eating apart from the exercise you're eating the ways you eat and the places you eat at um you could be fortunate to have um um your breakfast to lunch and supper at places where they are very particular about the food and they do their best with the food if that is your case then you shouldn't worry about <coughs> eating outside because definitely you'll be eating the right food but if that's not your case all this junk food this oil oil rice this plenty of guamo this chicken fried chicken chicken wings chicken bellies chicken cheeks chicken feet all these things of chickens you get it um uh cow cow meat we are not saying those things are not good but there's just an excess of it being consumed by the average Ghanaian and because of this there's no attention paid to what nutrition really requires but what is really um, done is to satisfy the stomach that is all look a research that was done shows that 90% of people who eat just want to satisfy their stomach especially in Ghana here they don't eat because they know this is good for them they just want to put something in their bellies and then there's also that percentage who eat things because they want to enjoy how sweet it tastes in their mouth you get it a lot of things could be sweet in your mouth people can give you things to put inside your mouth and you would um, open your mouth and then um, receive it and um, lick it and um, do whatever you want to do with it and it may feel good in your mouth but um at the end of the day what is it really doing to you as it is in your mouth what are you doing with it does it end there as, as a sweet thing or does it enter your belly as a waste substance these are questions that um we need to look at before we go ahead wondering how can people like madame elsie kaufman are looking prettier when they are supposed to be aging stop eating by heart outside and some of you can even go for two or three rounds you bought the food you are not satisfied with you go and buy at the same place again sometimes you don't even return the bowls early because you you hope to buy again you leave the bowl lingering around your your work desk or the place where you work at sometimes you just cover some uh, a polythene over it then when when you are done with a little work you carry this bowl same same bowl to the um, food seller's place to collect food again come on why are we just filling our bellies in the country hmm? some of you don't even know how to fast though this this message is not about fasting though this um uh, video is not about fasting there's the need sometimes to just abstain from food you can you can even look beautiful by not eating yes by not eating so um these are part of the things she does um as time goes on we'll be letting out um one by one the things um, she does that keeps her um, looking good vibrant um and very 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 energetic and for those of you who are serious and willing you'll be able to follow suit and then um, also have your 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 stories changed um, from very old to very young um there's another thing um miss um elsie kaufman does um that is also um, a good thing to do though um, for some people they don't see it as very effective she looks in the mirror from time to time and says beautiful things about herself this was a, a recipe that when i first heard i was feeling like does this thing really work but according to people it does work so for those of you who are ugly uh look in the mirror and start speaking to yourself say you're not as ugly as you are seeing yourself to be anymore it may seem like you are deceiving yourself that's how the process is but from time to time as you continue to speak to yourself and speak to the ugliness and um, the, the ugliness would um, um, be, be dissipating away small by small so we've given you three of her secrets one is exercise two is the food and number um, three is looking in the mirror and speaking to yourself
She does this from time to time and she has shown us that it helps her a lot. Thank you for listening. You can leave your comments and suggestions about what anyone who is interested in looking young can do um, to have the process simple for them. Um, you can also leave your comments on what you think about the beautiful Miss Elsie Kaufman who is always um, asking our students questions at the National Science and Maths Queens. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.